All right, this is a brief tutorial on clearing ABS faults on BMWs that have the ABS-1 and ABS-2 system. Um, this R1100RS is an example. What you need to have is a jumper wire with alligator clips on each end. You're going to use a very small cotter pin. You're going to find your diagnostic plug. It's usually plugged into a blue cap. This one is very dirty. Unplug this. I'm going to plug the cotter pin firmly into the center of the plug. I'm going to take the other end. This can go to ground on the bike or battery ground. You're going to turn the key on. You're going to hold down the ABS button for 10 seconds. Count slowly or use a stopwatch. While we're waiting, I'll point out that the R1200C and the R1100S, among some other models, uh, do not have this ABS button. Uh, in that case, in order to do this, you have to disassemble the bike to gain access to the anti-lock brake computer and ground pin 20 on the computer that would uh, do what we're doing now with the button 10 seconds are up release the button turn the key off disassemble your ground put your plug away disconnect here turn your key back on uh, now you can either push the bike to up to a speed of 2.5 miles per hour which will set the anti-lock brakes and run through its safety check or you can ride it as long as you exceed 2.5 miles per hour they should clear if it does not clear then you have other issues um, low battery will usually cause a problem but if you're getting a fault as soon as you turn the key on without starting the bike you have other issues. Could be computer related, sensors, wheel gap spacing, um, numerous things. But this is an easy way to try, try to clear your ABS fault first without going to the dealer.